Hey, my name is Phil from FunnelScene.com and welcome to this System.io custom login page tutorial. Now, as the name suggests, we're going to be creating a custom login page. The difficulty of this is beginner to medium. We are going to do a little bit of custom coding. So depending on how much you want to customize your login page will depend on how much code you need. So make sure you watch this entire video start to finish so you don't get lost. It can get a little bit techy at times. Now, real quick, just before I get started, if you haven't yet got started with system.io and you're thinking about it, I have got a course I'm actually selling that I'm going to give to you as a bonus if you sign up using my link in the description more information about that below or if you're already an existing user of system.io and you want some extra training i've also left a link to my course where you can actually go and purchase it right so let's get started so first of all i'm going to go ahead and log into my system dashboard and what you want to do is come to the top right to your profile image click on that and go to settings once you go to settings, it'll take you to the profile page. Uh, it had some personal information, so I've gone ahead and gone to the custom domains tab, which is where we want to go. And inside here is going to be where your custom domains are located. Now, if you just have a free plan or don't have any custom domains, you will just have your standard domain here. That's absolutely fine. If you've got a custom domain, make sure you set it as your um, as your domain that you want to use, your default domain. That way you can actually go ahead and make sure everything goes through this domain here. Now, if you wanted to upload a favicon, if you haven't as well, you can also add it here, which is the little uh, image that shows up in your browser tabs. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is what it looks like right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, preview it in the login tab. So this is what it looks like. It looks pretty good. The only issue is this doesn't actually work, right? This isn't this isn't working, right? The forgotten password doesn't do anything. Create an account doesn't do anything. This is a dead login page, right? So what we need to do is go ahead and actually customize it, especially because um, it's set as the default domain. So all of my people right now won't be able to log in. So what we need to do is once you've set your default domain, come ahead, come and go to, sorry, the login, customizer login page. So click on that. And this is going to bring us to this login page editor here. Now, what you need to do, first of all, is get rid of all of these form inputs because they don't actually do anything. So go ahead, delete them. Once again, delete them, delete everything because you don't need it. I'm gonna leave these two text columns here, the heading and the subheading. I'm gonna use those, but everything else I'm gonna get rid of. So delete all of these, get rid of the button, okay and get rid of this text as well so now we have a very plain page right so the first thing we want to do is come to our elements at the top scroll down find membership access and drag it underneath the text right so this is what appears if you click on it you're going to have all these options on the left so what i'm going to do is we don't need to have login to your account again so i'm going to highlight that and login heading backspace that so it's gone now, I don't like these labels either. It's pretty weird having them centered and the, the color that they are. So I'm going to go to email label, get rid of that. Password label, get rid of that as well. So now we've just got some standard placeholder text and we've also got a forgotten password, which actually works and we've got a button. Now, the issue with this particular page is that there's no real places to edit the fonts inside of here, right? So it's a little bit annoying. So what I'm going to do first of all is customize this page, make it look all pretty. And then I'm going to show you some custom coding to actually change all the sizing and the fonts and everything like that. So first of all, I'm going to start with the background, right? So the background image right now is actually just the default system um, colors. But what I'm going to do is come, so make sure you clicked on section, come down to background image, click on this little button here, which is the cloud with the upload arrow. And I've already uploaded some images. So I'm going to scroll down to this one, which is an unsplash free image and click on insert. Right now I've actually made the image quite small. So it loads fast, but you can see it only takes up a quarter of the screen, but no worries. Just come down to background position, click on fill 100% width and height. And now it's the full width. Now, the only problem I can see is there's this blue part here. It doesn't fit the entire screen, but that's completely fine. Just make sure you've clicked on it once again, and I'm going to just max out this bottom tab. I might even go a little bit more just to make it fill in the whole thing. So that looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with how that looks. Now, what I'm going to do as well to have a bit of branding in here is drag an image above the login box, which is going to go ahead and automatically create a row. I'm going to add in a logo of already uploaded. 
So insert it here and I'm going to change the height to about 300, which looks pretty good. And then I'm going to give it a little bit of padding just to make it sort of look a bit better. So that looks pretty good right there. I may even give it a little bit at the top as well, just so it uh, fills the screen a little bit better. So I'm pretty happy with that. It all looks pretty good. Now what I might do is actually customize the padding around here as well. It doesn't look like it's quite filling the insides. So I'm going to click on the white section. I'm going to uh, increase the left and right to make it a little bit more narrow. Come down to the bottom and reduce the left and right to about say 25. So that looks a little bit better. And I may even reduce the padding to about 25 as well, like so. So that looks a little bit better. I'm pretty happy with that. Now the only major issue I have right here is the size of the font. Now what you can do first of all is click on it again. Now you can choose the font type inside of here. So I'm going to go Google fonts. I'm going to choose Ubuntu, which is the same sort of text as this one here. So this looks a little bit bigger, better font size. I'm, oh, sorry, font style. I'm going to make it maybe a little bit more pronounced, right? So I'm going to use medium 500. So it looks pretty good. The only issue is still there's no place to increase the font size. So what we're going to do is do a little bit of custom coding. Now, if this is your first time, just make sure you follow this step by step. Pause the video where you need to. It may be daunting the first time, but don't worry, you'll get the hang of it. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually save my work where I am right now. And then I'm going to drag in this raw HTML box into the bottom here. Okay, so now I've got this random HTML box thing. Don't worry, no one's going to see the HTML bits. It's just to let you know where it is. And what you want to do is click on that. And now we have this edit code section here, right? So that's just, this is where we're going to be adding in our code. Now what you want to do is open up another tab, right? So I'm going to go ahead, click on the eyeball. And this is going to show you where we're currently at with our editor, right? So this all looks good. I'm just not happy with the size. So what I'm going to do is right click, make sure you're in Google Chrome as well. It might not work for the other browsers, but right click, come down to inspect and you'll see these elements appear, right? It may be on the side. It might be on this side. It might be at the bottom. But what you want to do is find this little arrow around a square and click on that. And what you want to do is click on the text inside of the um, input here, right? Now I'm just going to drag up my face a little bit so we can see the code. So once you once again click on it, like so, it's going to bring up some information below here. So what we're looking for is the code in red saying font size. So I'll scroll down a little bit and here it is, font size equals 14. So what I'm going to do is increase that. So I click on it, I can press up if I wish. And what you'll notice is the font is now increased in here, right? So it looks a lot bigger. I actually like the way it looks. So what I'm going to do is click and drag and highlight all of this code and right click, click on copy, right? And then come back to the editor, click on edit code. Make sure you highlight it on the, the HTML edit code box. Click edit code and backspace all of this. Put a little bracket in that says style right because we're going to be styling the text and it'll automatically create an out tag press enter and press paste now there's one more thing we need to do every time we uh, close things out as we've got an open bracket here we need to also put a close bracket which i believe is shift and the button below enter or backspace i should say sorry and then that is done so if we click on save right click on save changes if i reload this page now like so this is going to be what it looks like. So the placeholder text looks great. The only problem is forgotten passwords, tiny, and the click here button also is tiny. So once again, same process, click on that little square with an arrow in it, click on forgotten password. And if you hover over it, you can see it's only 13 packs. So click on it, look for font size, which is the first one. And you can either press up or you can just go 18 PX whichever is faster and you can see it's now huge right it's 18px the same as that so once again click and drag highlight this entire um, bit of code right click press copy come back to editor click on edit code and then below that below the last bracket you just want to press enter and then backspace so it's on the same line as the other one press paste or command v and then once again put the out bracket click on save and then save changes now, if we go ahead and refresh this page, now the forgotten page of password forgotten is also bigger, right? So that looks pretty good as well. Now, finally, the last one we need to do 
is this click here button which I will actually change um, but for now it just says click here once again click on it font size 18 what I'm going to do is actually increase it to 20 because I want it to be quite significant and then once again drag and copy all of that right right click copy and then go back to the editor edit code once again go to the last bracket press enter then backspace and then once again close it out with a bracket click on save and then save changes now we have successfully changed the font size using code if it's your first time congratulations it's pretty cool right now if you want to get a little bit more technical as well I like to add a little bit of padding around my buttons um, as you can see if you hover over it it's got 10 px 20 px right which basically means it's got 10 at the top and bottom 20 on the left and right so what I'm going to do is make it a little bit bigger so click on that once again now we want to scroll down looking for padding and here it is padding 10 px 20 px so I'm just going to go on the 10 make it 15 and watch the button it's given it a bit more of a pad which we want right I'm going to copy all of this text copy all of that come back to editor click edit code and as we are actually already in that same code here egz ygz right if we come back there so like um, we can actually just paste it below I'll show you what I mean it's easy so once again um, paste it in there but you can see it's the same so we just need to actually take this text here copy that come back to the old one and below just paste it in right so hopefully that makes sense now it should look like that and you can just delete all this other fluff because we've actually already got what we need okay so click on save and now that's all done hopefully I haven't confused you too much um, this is how it all looks now right so we've got bigger fonts custom background custom logo and now we can customize the last few things so I'm going to just say here welcome whoop, welcome to funnel scene and then I'm going to put in here log in to your mem account the low right so it looks pretty good I'm happy go on click here see if there's a, a place to change it login button text I'll be like access the members area right click on save now once again reload that and we are completely done here you have a custom login area for your courses and the members part of um, funnel scene right and just before you finish everything you're good to go make sure you just click on the little um, the little mobile view it might not be exactly how it looks on the finished product but you want to just make sure everything looks pretty good so my, what I might do is just put a little bit of a space here for example 10 below there you can change the heights and stuff if you wish um, but I'm pretty happy with how it looks it's all very very straightforward and that's it guys hope you enjoyed the video once again if you haven't yet got started with system and you're thinking about it i've got a link in the description if you join using that link i'll also give you my funnel scene course if you're already a member of system.io you can click the button anyway and it'll take you to a registration page where you can get started with funnel scene there is a cost but you'll learn so much inside of it and finally if you enjoyed this video Make sure you smash the thumbs up button. Let me know in the, in the comments if you have any other issues or things that you want to learn about with System. I'm happy to create some tutorials. Make sure you click subscribe. Um, I've got some pretty epic tutorials coming out in the near future. That's it from me. I'll see you on the next video.